Welcome to this video on reflections. A reflection is flipping a shape over a line of reflection. And when a figure has been reflected, it will be a mirror image. Okay, so let's look at some of the coordinate rules for reflections. So when you reflect across the x-axis, the coordinate rule is x negative y, which means the x value stays the same sign, the y value changes signs. So right now, a is at 2, 2. So that is my pre-image. So if we apply the coordinate rule, a prime, will be at 2 because the x value doesn't change and negative 2 because the y value changes signs. Now the negative here does not mean the number has to be negative. It means to change the sign. So if my pre-image coordinates were already negative, they would change back to positive. Alright, so 2, negative 2. Now you don't necessarily have to apply coordinate rules when you are reflecting. You can just count in the opposite direction from the line of reflection. So let me zoom in here and show you what I mean. So right now, A, the pre-image for A is 2 above my line of reflection. So since a reflection is just a mirror image, I want to go 2 down. So you can just count that way. All right, let's go ahead and do the y-axis since it's very similar right below. So the y-axis is here. And let's do the counts first instead of doing the coordinate rule. So right now, a is 1 to the left of my line of reflection. I just want to go 1 to the right. Okay, you can also use the coordinate rule. So the coordinate rule for the y-axis is negative x, y. So right now, A is at negative 1, 3. That means A prime will be at, so I want to change the sign for my X coordinate. Right now it's already negative. I'm going to change it back to positive. And then the Y coordinate, I leave it the same. So 1, 3, which is where we ended up when we graphed it. Okay, for diagonal lines of reflection. So the first one is the line y equals x. So that goes diagonally through the graph through 0, 0. If you remember back to algebra 1, y equals mx plus b. My slope for this is 1. It's so understood 1. And since there is no y-intercept, that means it is 0. So it goes through 0 on the y-axis. It has a slope of 1, so up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. So that is the line y equals x. The coordinate rule for this is yx, which means basically I flip the coordinates. So right now, a is at 1, negative 1. So I'm going to flip those, negative 1, 1. Let me get a different color here. So negative 1, 1, A prime. Another way is counting from the line of reflection. Now, because my line of reflection is diagonal, I'm going to be counting diagonally. So you always want to count perpendicular to the line of reflection. Just like in this example, my line of reflection was horizontal. So I counted vertically and it was perpendicular. For this example, here is my line of reflection, I want to count perpendicular. So right now it's one diagonal block away. So I want to go one block away in the opposite direction, making sure you are perpendicular to the line of reflection. Okay, let's try y equals negative x, which is the same, except since it has a negative one slope, it's going to fall from left to right. So let's try counting first, and then we will use the coordinate rule. So I want to go perpendicular to my line of reflection. So right now, A is one block away. So I want to go one in the opposite direction, which would be here. Okay, so let's apply that coordinate rule and make sure it works. So A is at negative 2, 0. 
the coordinate rule for y equals negative x is negative y negative x, which means I switch the coordinates and I change both signs. So a prime, I'm going to write 0 first. 0 is neither negative nor positive, so you don't change the sign. And then I'm going to write 2 and change the sign to positive, which is where we ended up, 0, 2. Okay, and then the last two examples are vertical and horizontal lines. And for those, there are no coordinate rules. You just simply count from the line of reflection. So for this one, my line of reflection is x equals 4. A is 1 to the right, so I want to go 1 to the left. So here is a prime. And then the same thing for a horizontal line. This is the line y equals negative 3. Right now a is 2 below, so I want to go 2 above. So there is a prime. All right, let's look at some graphs for reflections. So the first one says, write a rule for the transformation. So the first thing that I would do is determine the line of reflection. So the line of reflection for this is the x-axis. And you can tell because it's in the middle of the corresponding points. So there's a couple ways you can do this. You can memorize the coordinate rules, and the rules for x and y axis are pretty easy. When you reflect across the x axis, the y coordinate changes signs, and then when you reflect across the y axis, the x coordinate changes signs. If you don't want to memorize them, another thing that you can do is write the coordinates. So right now I just picked b. You can pick any coordinate. b is at negative 3, 2. And then I'm going to write the image, which is at negative 3, negative 2. And I'm going to see what happened to the coordinates. So remember, a coordinate rule always starts out x, y, arrow. So as you can see, nothing changed for the x value. So x stayed the same. But the y coordinate did change signs. So negative y. So that is my coordinate rule. All right, for the next example, reflect the figure over the line y equals x. So the first thing you want to do is draw the line of reflection. And if you have a ruler, I would definitely use a ruler to make sure that you get it really straight. I'm going to try to be as straight as I can here. So remember, it goes through 0, 0, and it cuts the graph in half diagonally. Okay, so you can use the coordinate rule if you would like. I'm going to do that for one point for a. So right now, a is at negative 3, 2. And if we look back, the coordinate rule for y equals x is y comma x, which means I switch the coordinates. That means that a prime should be at 2, negative 3. So 2, negative 3. So that's one way. You can also count diagonally Remember, you stay perpendicular to the line of reflection. So let's do that for B. So B is 1, 2, 3 away. So 1, 2, 3. And then I'm also going to do that with C. C is 1 block away. So I'm going to go 1 in the opposite direction. And there is C prime. All right, then I'm going to connect them. Can shade it in if you would like especially if you have a lot going on on your graph like I do and there is your image okay and then the last example reflect the figure over y equals negative 1 so that would be here going through negative 1 on the y-axis so I'm going to darken that in so I can see it especially since it's going through the shape and remember there are no coordinate rules for horizontal and vertical lines so I'm just going to count so because a D is on the line of reflection, it's actually not going to move. So D prime will be in the same spot. E is one above my line, so I want to go one below. And then F is one below, so I want to go one above. And I'm going to connect those. I'm going to shade it in so we can see. And there is your image. 
Okay, you can stop the video now and go ahead and complete your reflections practice and check with your teacher.